Welcome, friends. Welcome. I didn't realize it had already been nine minutes. Sorry about that. I would have started a little earlier. Okay. No. Anyway, we're we're back with Talos again today. Hello there. Jimmy! Hi, Jimmy! Jimmy, have you got the DLC yet? Yes, the sis, the sit with mm hmm The music is very suspensable. You're absolutely right there. Um Talos Principle has some of the best soundtrack music uh, out of most games I've played. It's up there with Hollow Knight and Minecraft. So, oh, broke after holiday, wait for payday. Gotcha, gotcha. Aw, yeah. Smart, though. Definitely no spoilers. Okay, I hear you with that. Give me a second. What about now? Test. Test. I never do voice tests anymore because I just don't feel like it and then that totally screws me up sometimes. I'm glad you're here to do your- Feel the same? Why? See, this is why I should do sound tests. But I don't. I don't feel like it. How about now? I don't have a headset mic. Congratulations on first, by the way, GB. Meant to say. Talk some more. Talk, talk. Lots better? All I did was unplug it and plug it back in. That's all I did. Alright, maybe I have to start doing sound tests again. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. I'm definitely a, a professional streamer, and don't question. I definitely don't fuck up anything ever. Definitely. We're at least in the right category, right? Okay, we're in the right category. All right, but yeah, congratulations on first GB. Mallory, it's so great to have you here. Jimmy, thank you so much for stopping by, even though you can't stay. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear that your trip went well and that you had fun, and I'm excited to see what you think of the DLC when you start playing. Vanna, thank you so much for the raid. Much love for Vanna. Um, if you don't know about Vanna, Is the underscore. Yeah, let's just enjoy the menu music some more, yeah. So Vanna is my very lovely sister who has just started her streaming career. Um, she started her content creation on YouTube. She does music, she does ASMR, um, and her ASMR stuff is really gaining some traction. Last time I checked, she had like 900 some followers already, um, and she just moved over to streaming and last time I checked, she had like 300 some followers on Twitch. Um, you know, drop her a follow, even if you don't plan on tuning in for her, you know, content. Um, it really, it really helps us out, really helps us get noticed. And she's my sister, and she's great, and she's the yapster, and you guys love when she's on the channel. So, um, love to do, I would love to do some streaming collabs with her in the future. Uh, although I find that that might be challenging, we're probably gonna have to upgrade our internet for that because we really both can't stream at the same time. <laughs> can't handle it. The internet cannot handle. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, I have had plentiful time to think about these last two puzzles in uh, Orpheus Ascending, and I am still just as much of a, at a loss now as I was at the end of last stream, but maybe if I, like, physically look at it again, it'll be make a difference. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to yawn. Can I tell you something? I was supposed to go to work today, but the kid that I take care of was sick, so they didn't have me come today. So I had the day off, and... And also, the other student 
the, the student that I tutor, she had like a big test today and I didn't want to make her study on the day of the test after her test. So I had like the day off completely today, but I don't know if my body was just exhausted or if I'm coming down with something or what, but I slept for like 14 hours. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Hell yeah, Jimmy, the superior sister, that's me. Yes. My sunburn is finally starting to heal, so that's nice. Maybe you can tell that there's maybe less, like, redness on my face. Maybe a little bit less, and, um, my legs are starting to tan rather than be burnt, so that's nice. How am I liking the DLC? I- have you started it? I won't give any spoilers, but I will say, um, I'm really enjoying it. I think that- I meant to text you, Koala, after the first stream and say that it's definitely worth the purchase. Um, I'd say it's 100% worth the purchase. There are some story elements that are new, some things that they didn't really- that they touched upon a little bit, but they're going more in depth with in the DLC that is definitely worth a look-see. And the puzzles are super unique. It's very different than any of the other puzzles that we have seen in the previous two games and DLC. It is separated into three parts. You have Orpheus Ascending, Isle of the Blessed, and Into the Abyss. It's like three separate stories, question mark? I'm not really sure. I've only done, I've only started the first part and I'm at the tail end of the first part. I haven't quite finished it yet. You caught sun in Crete too, despite sitting in the shade all day. The reflection from the sea was enough. Yep. Yep. Second part is very, let's say, interesting. In a good or a bad way. You can change the main menu, main menu background now? Really? Oh, wow. Well, I'll put it on- I'll put it on whatever we're doing at the time. So we'll put it on Orpheus Ascending because that's what we're doing right now. That's cool. Thank you. I didn't know that. Yeah, no spoilers. Um, my eyes are watering because I yawned. I don't know how the fuck I'm still tired. I'll tell you that. After sleeping for 14 hours, there is no excuse for still being tired. But yeah, each DLC section comes with the background. Glad to know that now. Um, I was going to say one other thing about it. It's definitely, it's unique. Uh, at least when I first started the first section, like Orpheus Ascending, when I started that, it, well, spoiler free, when I started it, the, the puzzles, it wasn't, like, I know how we talked about Koala, how there's going to be, like, a reset where we're going to be kind of confused because we don't... It's been... What month is it? June? It's been seven months since we played Talos last. It's not just a reset of trying to relearn the mechanics of the game. That's certainly part of it. But the puzzles are so unique and different from what we did in Talos 2 or Talos 1 or... Uh, Road to Kahena, it's so different that <laughs> I had to have chat help me for the first puzzle. I was stuck on the first puzzle for way too long because I was like, I do not understand how to do this. And then someone in chat gave me like a really good tip. And from there, it all kind of fell into place. But it's so different. Yeah, it's very different. It's very, very interesting, very fun. And uh, there- so there's, like, same with, like, base game Talos and similar to Road to Gehenna, you have, like, the main story and then, like, you have some extras that you can do if you want to see all the content. And I'm on that, like, extra portion of Orpheus Ascending or whatever this bit is called. I'm on that extra piece and those extra ones are so hard. I've- i have like- I think I spent like an hour or an hour and a half on those three extra puzzles and I got one of them by chance and I do not know how to get the other two and I, I wouldn't be surprised if we spent significant time on them today but thank goodness GB is here and GB has done these puzzles already so 
More than anything, I hope they have some hints for what Talos Principle 3 could look like with that Galactic Core stuff. Yes, I was very interesting. I, I was very interested to see if the Galactic Core stuff, as you say, you're talking about like the star stuff at the end of Talos 2, right? I don't. I didn't know if that was going to be a DLC thing or a Talos Principle 2 thing. So far, I haven't seen it in the DLC. Um, I haven't seen anything about it, so I would guess it's probably a Talos 3 thing. But I. I don't know. I'm on I'm on the first bit, and they're all different stuff, so I couldn't say whether or not that actually is a DLC thing or not. But I, I definitely am very excited for Talos Principle 3 hints, and I guess it's possible that, um, you know, if I had to guess, Talos Principle 3 is probably really far away like a really long time away if i had to guess but that's all right you know they spent so long on talos 2 and i i can't say enough i mean i personally didn't have to wait that long right like i only had to wait like a year between when i played talos 1 and when talos 2 came out um but i wouldn't mind waiting a while i wouldn't mind waiting several five ten 10 years? Oh my god, I would be 34. Holy shit. I would... I I don't even want to think about what it would be like to be 34 years old. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> um, I, I, what I'm trying to say is that I really wouldn't mind waiting if it means that we would have... Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't speak. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I, uh, 30s are a great decade. I don't want to think about it, bro. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I never expected to get past 20 years old. I don't know why. I never made, I never planned to get past 20. Like, I, I, I never had a plan of what I was going to do with my life. Why is it so loud? Hold on, I'm gonna turn it down. It's a little loud. Master volume. Let's bring you down to like 65, eh? Okay, that's that's fine. Um I wouldn't mind them taking a really long time to make the next game as long as it's as as amazing as this was. Like, the jump from Talos 1 to Talos 2 was incredible. It was way better. I was so worried it would fall flat, but it really didn't. I was really impressed with how they really like upped the ante. I was, I was just, it was awesome. And I, I hope for the same for Talos 3 and I hope they take as much time as possible to make that happen. Just like, that's the same thing I think about like Arcane. I don't know if you guys are Arcane fans, but Arcane season one came out like ages ago and Arcane season two is coming out at the end of this year. And everyone, a lot of people were like, oh my god, like, we need Arcane Season 2 now! And I'm like, no, actually, please take as much time as you possibly need to make this as good as it can be, because I would rather have something that's quality rather than something that's rushed. That is... I finally got my thoughts in order there. It took a while, but I did it. <laughs> Glad I made it past 20. Me too! It's not like I had planned to die at 19 or anything. Like, I didn't have, like, a plan to die. It's just... I, I didn't really plan on what my 20s would be like. I mean, like, I always had, like, dreams, like, oh, like, I really want to do maybe this with my life, or I, I kind of want to do this with my life, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't like, ah, oh, yes, I'm going to get married at 25 and have kids at 30 and whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, I, I never made, like, those types of plans. I was just like, ah, if I make it to 20, I'll figure it out, kind of thing. <laughs> that, that, that was my point of view, and then here I am at 24, still confused. It's alright. <laughs> yeah, really banking on that 2012 thing happening, yeah, yeah. Bro, aren't you, like, my age? Weren't you, like, 12? <laughs> that happened? <coughs> wait. You might- wait a minute. Are you, like, 26? Welcome to being an adult, we're all making it up as we go along. Yep! GP says you'll be 34 next year. Oh wait, hold on. I missed something that GB said about Talos 3. 30-year-old Jess will get a nice surprise? I hope not. Yeah, other ways to play around what you already know. Yep. 
There are some clues in what direction the whole world goes. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out, Jimmy. I, I, I love that you hung out for as long as you did. Much love. You're born in '96. You're 28. You're Nathan's age. Oh, when's your birthday? Because Nathan's birthday just passed last week. When's your? When was your? February. Oh. That's right. Wasn't it right around your con your concert? It was like right around your concert, wasn't it? I remember that because, well, it's horrible. But Rocket passed away on the first, and a couple days after Rocket passed away was your concert, so it was like right in there, right? Because <laughs> I remember your concert was the first time I had had fun since since Rocket had passed. It was the first time I smiled. That's really nice. Yeah, Koala is really special. If you guys don't know Koala, he's great. He's a very talented person, very talented guy. Um, he... All of, like... I, I very much envy the visuals on his channel. The visuals on his channel are gorgeous. He's got a gorgeous channel trailer. Uh, gorgeous everything. Great, like, channel rewards and lots of visual effects and stuff that happen. He's very talented at all that. Um... God, the music is so loud. Is it loud for anyone else, or is it just me? <laughs> I feel like no matter how much I turn it down, it's still so loud. Um, and and also, he's a very very talented artist. He he does like theater and and sings and stuff. And he had a, a concert where he put on a show with costumes and everything. It was very impressive all around. Lots of fun. He's a very fun guy. His wife as well. His wife is Mallory. Valerie. She's great. That means you aren't born yet. The year is either. <laughs> um. Yikes. Um. <laughs> okay, anyway. The one I was able to figure out was this one. And I got it just by chance. I don't remember how I did it. I tried to replicate what I did and could not manage it. So we're gonna forget about that. Yeah, much love. Mallory, are you gonna play the DLC also, or are you just- or is just Koala doing it? Because when Koala gets around to playing it, I'd love to hang out in his chat. And if you get around to playing it, I'd love to see you play it as well, but I don't- Mallory has not played the base game. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. Well, um, so- the names of these two are very interesting. This one's called Clockwork, and this one's called Step by Step. I understand the mechanic that they're trying to have you use. What I don't understand is how to execute it. Um, so... Yeah, Koala, now- if you don't want spoilers, now would maybe be the time to disappear. Um, much love. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, Mallory. I mean, what kind of games do you play, sneaky, Mallory? Sneaky, sneaky. What kind of games do you play, Mallory? I forget. I know you do, like, a lot of... You do great with the nails, and I've seen you play... I've seen you play a couple of things, but now it's, like totally going over my head. I know Koala plays Pokemon sometimes. She also have great separation between how and what. Yep. You play literally anything? Right, yes, you did play- you were playing Dark Souls. I remember that. Yeah, okay. Um... Well, yeah, if, you, if you're interested in puzzles... Also, Mallory, you know how I sent you that, like, um... I sent you that, like, game recommendation the other day. Sometimes Koala will send me game recommendations, and sometimes I'll send him game recommendations. If you ever any, have any game recommendations for something you think I'd like, please feel free. Because I'm always keeping an eye out for, 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 for new games that my chat might like. Um, or just something that I myself might like. I, I went ahead and went through my entire Steam wishlist and Epic with Epic Games wishlists yesterday because the Steam sale is coming up in a couple of days, the summer sale, 
and uh, got rid of things that maybe I originally thought I might like, but now I don't know, or like if I didn't end up liking the demo, and then I got rid of that, or, you know, just, I, I kind of did like an all-around clean, and holy, there are still so many things on that list. I have plenty of games. I don't need any more game recommendations, but that doesn't mean that I don't want to hear them. <laughs> Blue Prince? Was it available with Next NextFest? I know that some of the stuff went away. Mount Holly, where every dawn unveils a new mystery. Hmm. I like the art style. Alright, this might lag the stream for about like a minute and a half, but I'm gonna quick download the demo so I don't forget to look at it later. <laughs> so sorry if this lags the stream for a second. Um, it's like three and a half gigs. It's no big deal. Is it actively downloading? Perfect. It, it, it's almost done. 15 seconds remaining. Very good. I downloaded that very fast. Really, the game, it also made me motion sick. There are some games that do make me motion sick that are, like, it's so strange. Um, I'm turning down the music again because I think it's loud. That's Steam saying that the download's done. That's so crazy. It's down to, like, it's down to, it's gonna be down to 25% now. Like, holy. Um. There, yeah, there are some games that make me motion sick, which is weird, because, like, I can play things like Raft and not get motion sick. And Raft is, like, waves on an ocean and you're moving all over the place. I don't get motion sick with that. I don't get motion sick with things like Minecraft. But then I'll play things like Riven, which was, um, which, like, the Mist series. I've gotten motion sick with their point and click stuff, which is weird, uh, because they do, like, a whole, like, blur effect. And I even got motion sick a little bit with um, the demo for the 3D version that I played last week. I got a little bit motion sick with that, and I'm like, how is that possible? I don't understand how I'm, like, okay with one thing and not another. Oh, definitely VR, 100%. You played, like... Oh, Koala! Dude, isn't Closet Chaos so fun? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait for it to come out! That is like the only demo that I checked out that I didn't uninstall afterwards because I kind of want to go back and play it again. Like, also, I did check out a ton. I know, I know we haven't actually started playing yet, but we're just chatting and having a blast. Um, um, I did check out more demos uh, over the weekend that I didn't stream. Um, like, I checked out. I checked out more demos yesterday. Because t yesterday was the last day for Next Fest. And I was able to get through them pretty quickly because I can pretty quickly tell whether or not I'm gonna like something. So I was able to get through a ton without like wasting the time of chat. You know what I mean? Um, and there's a couple other ones I'm, I'm pretty excited about and there's some other ones where I'm like wow I'm, I'm really glad I didn't waste my time streaming this <laughs> so like I found there was a couple there was two different games that I played yesterday I played them for like five ten minutes and was like wow these are both very very strong portal ripoffs like I'm surprised they didn't get a copyright problem for this <laughs> wow <laughs> First house is very prone to making people motion sick for some reason. Yeah. Um, I will say, uh, I, I have had slight issues with motion sickness with Talos, but it's not too, too bad, especially if you bring the sensitivity to a place that makes sense for you. And it's just because, like, you see as I'm moving it, the mid kind of gets a little blurry. Like, if I do that too much, it, it makes me feel a little motion sick. Yeah. Oh my god, the gravity changes were so rough. Yes, the gravity changes 100% motion sick there. Added some extra options for gravity swap. 
Oh, that's really nice, GB. <gasps> Kamikaze, hi! Added a setting to switch how camera orientation works. Nice. That is very helpful. I, You know, that's awesome, GB. Okay, anyway, now to actually get to Talos. I know we've been chatting for 30 minutes and it's been great. Um... Although I definitely want to finish these puzzles today because we were stuck on them last time and I just... So I understand the concept in which we're trying to do here. So if you haven't seen this puzzle before or if you're new and you don't mind the spoilers, um, there are fans here, here, and here. And there are also doors blocking each of the fans. So the fans turn on when the door is opened, but it takes a little while to like rev up, I guess. Um, this, this one's called clockwork. And basically what I need to do is exactly what's happening here right now. How they stay, you know, kind of activated for just a second. Um, such that I can quick sneak through here and get past the first fan. And then the same thing with the other two colors. They can't all be active all at the same time or else the fans will push me back and I can't get past. It's gotta be clockwork. It's gotta be on, off, on, off, on, off. Now, having the lasers hit each other in such a way... Like when they hit each when they when they cross over each other like this, it stops them from it, it it gets in the way. So like if I were to stand in the way of this, then those two are just gonna constantly be at odds with each other and neither of them will, will ever actually do anything. But if I allow the third one to come into play, they will constantly cancel each other out in, like, a triangle fashion. Um, now, I understand that concept. What I don't understand is how I can get it to get the con have the connectors go to the receiver and make that happen in a clockwork fashion. I do not understand. Ooh, yes, very good. Naps. All right, bye, Mal. Thank you for being here. Uh, how's the puzzles? Hard. They're hard. <laughs> hard, but fun. They're fun. Don't get me wrong, and they're very interesting, but they're very, very challenging. Um... So how to execute this, I do not know. But I tell you what, what I do need though, is I need the connectors to stop making noises so that I can think. Because whenever they make noises, I cannot think. Alright. So. Oh, I don't know if you had this problem, GB. Uh, but if I place the connector, like, too close to here, it'll start glitching through the floor. Let's see if it does it. It starts glitching through the floor and then straight up disappears. It's funny. I don't know if you had that problem. Okay. So what if... So... We need the lasers to cross. You didn't have that? Someone else in my chat the other day said that they experienced that exact thing that- Cause I- cause I turned around and it was gone. I was like, where did that connector go? And then I put it in the same spot. Oh! There it goes! There it goes! <laughs> and I put it in the same spot and like watched it fall. It's like a hole in the ground or something. Hi, Rooney! Rooney, how are you doing? Alright, yeah, so I gotta reset, because it's gone. So. So, 
The problem is, when these cross each other, none of the lasers actually reach the connector in the first place. So how do I... I need it, like... It's almost like I need the connector to be right here. And have... Okay, what if I were to pick this up and like do something like this? No, because Yeah, no, that would never work. So then what if Don't place them- yep, don't place them on the edge of the hexagon. Correct. See, they have a problem. So what if, instead of- Oh, hold on. Okay, what if I did this? But then didn't have that. No, because if I can't have them connected to two emitters at once, that's that's not gonna that's not gonna do anything for me. I will say, with some of these puzzles, I kind of wish that you could remove the last connection that you made, but not all the connections. That would kind of be nice if they'd add that, especially with, like, the big laser puzzle in, like, the, um... In, in here? That was fucking miserable, because, like, if you did one wrong connection, you'd have to undo the whole thing. It took me forever to do that. You can deselect? No fucking way! I wish I knew that, bro. Thank you, GB. Holy. Okay. All right, I'm gonna snack on on my smart my my, my smart food, the, the food that helps my brain go while I try and figure this out. Well, that could have saved me like 30 minutes up there. I tell you that. And let me tell you something else. It took me like 30 minutes to find this area, by the way. Because they were- Because the thing up there is connected to three of these different things. So I spent like 30 minutes trying to parkour over. Oh. Detroit Become Human was downloading? I didn't know Detroit Become Human was downloading. And my stream wasn't lagging or anything? I'm so confused. I thought I had that downloaded yesterday. Okay. Alright, computer. Do whatever you like, I guess. Detroit Become Human is like the next story game up on the list, by the way. So, get excited about that. You know, since we finished Life is Strange. off that. It's fine. Of course, I know that mostly because I always right-click for everything. Hmm. Okay, I got you. Nah, I just can't read. That's my problem. Hey! Oh, hey, Vanna! Hi! Would you possibly grab me a napkin since you're up? Thank you so much! The appster's over there. What was she asking, Nathan? Did she need something from me? Did you need something from me? 
Okay. Hello. It's the Yapster, everybody. Hello. <laughs> well, if Pepper was nearby, I'd give her the last of my strawberries, but that's fine. So, GP, do you have any like helpful hints for clockwork here? Because I I feel like my idea is kind of. Hi, Kush. How you doing? Yeah, that I rated you in. Um. I was told that it's easier than you think. Um. That's what someone in chat told me last time I attempted this. But. I don't know. I feel like no matter what, I'm not gonna feel stupid after this one because it's just that freaking hard. Like... It's like... It's like I want to do that. But... It's just like I wanna- I wanna- I wanna do this, you know? But... That's just not... I mean, it has... See, it's got that same triangle shape, but it doesn't... <sighs> Conceptual hints are next step hints. Um... Maybe next step hints. How am I today? I'm doing okay! I slept for way longer than I thought that I would ever need to sleep. Um... And honestly, I was feeling kind of like... Look at this weird shape. This looks like a pumpkin or an apple shape, but it's not. Hi, Zolden! But it's not. It's a strawberry. And I was. Some streams I get more anxious for than others, which is weird because, like. normally get anxious for streams anymore. That was more like when I first started, but I got really anxious for today's stream for some reason. Don't know why. Zolden, how you doing? Or right, reset the puzzle? Okay. Move all connectors towards the emitter they're connected to so they no longer collide. Okay. Yeah, I had this idea of like wanting to have them all on the inside, but I didn't know how I would freaking do that. Like have, cause you know how the inside triangle is the one that's getting canceled out? I wish the outside triangle would be the one being canceled out and I don't know how to make that happen. Does that make sense? Do you under, do you are you able to visualize what I'm trying to say there, GB? I avoided mowing because we got a little rain, but <laughs> think what connections I need to add to them. Well... Okay, what if... I don't know if this is gonna work, but... 
perhaps worth an attempt. What happens if I do that? Okay, so now the inside triangle's just straight up not happening. Nathan, do you want to help me with the puzzles? No, he says no. Sad. So, uh... What if I try the same thing I just did, but have more lasers? Like... Like... Pretty sure this isn't gonna work. But you never know. Um then I don't know. It's only the only thing that's reaching this is the blue. beyond my brain. Okay, what about like a conceptual hint? How about that? Glockenspiel. Give me that give me that conceptual hint. Fewer connections. Yeah, I was told that it's not, like, like that there's not, like, a, a ton of fucking lasers around, but. Think of what part of the blue laser the other color needs. Think of, oh god, okay. Think of what part of the blue laser the other color needs to break for the cycle to keep working. You mean with what I had? Or... Well, I have this semi-interesting idea that isn't probably correct, but 
this semi an interesting idea where all of the connectors are connected to or sorry all of the emitters are connected to one connector and all of and that connector is connected to all of the receivers but whatever but only one color reaches that connector at a time that could be interesting to try and pull off What I would really like is if I could, <clears throat> instead of breaking part that needs to break for the cycle to continue is the part that is attached to the receivers, right? So what needs to break is not this, but this. But I don't know how to break one of them without breaking both of them. <clears throat> I, I pers once I understood what was happening, the all the puzzles in this first section were easy. Ex easy and fun. Once I figured out what was happening. Except for that one, which took me like 45 minutes to an hour. And these ones, which has, has, has taken me a, a lot of time also. These are all really challenging. Kudos to all of you for doing it without the help of a chat, by the way. Like, I don't know... You guys must be extra smart. Like, I feel like I'm smart when I figure these things out, but I have health. <laughs> okay. No, that's not gonna work. I was gonna try something and then I realized, nope. Uh... Was my answer to your conceptual question correct, by the way? I stumbled into the solution for the first one and I can't- I can't do it- I don't know how I did it. I can't recreate the solution. I suppose that's right, GB. But also you have, like, chat hinting you towards the solution. Which is why it was so hard to do it on, like, the day of release. Because there was really no one to help. <laughs> No, it's not necessarily that I want the next hint, it's that I wanted to know if my answer to your question was right. Like, the thing that has to break is what's connected to the receiver, not connected to the emitter, right? Like, what has to break in the cycle is what's connected to this, not this. Yeah? How the fuck do I do that? Hmm. 
No. Okay. No. Yeah, I'm gonna need another hint then, because I do not know. I'm confusion. The, res the emitter part is the one that needs to break. So... Then... Does that mean... So then... So then how can I place this? The problem is, if I have them... No, that's not- that's not right. That's not quite right. I need... I need... See, the issue with this is that That, it, that the issue with this is that it's still not re the, the the laser's still not reaching the connector. I don't understand. If I can answer that question, I can answer all the questions. I don't know how to get the laser to reach the connector and still have this beautiful triangle. <laughs> yep. Is it at least on like the right track? No, it doesn't even matter because. The whole thing is the right track. The whole thing is utilizing this concept. It's just the execution of it. One strawberry left. Maybe when I finish my last strawberry, my brain will have a brain blast because obviously the strawberry is what's making me learn. Because <laughs> I kind of want to Oh, thank you, Zolden. Thank you. That helps. Is this an even remotely helpful setup? Glockenspiel? Oh, come here. Wait, wait. I need. I need. The, I need. The, uh, 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 uh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> This is too bright. Bring it down a notch. I was closer before. hints bro <laughs> oh 
I'm excited to see it, Kush. I actually don't need more hands. Would it be beneficial for me to walk away and then come back? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can't, I don't, it doesn't, no, no links in chat, but you're welcome to, you have, you have my permission to send it in my Discord if you want. The only puzzle I have left is this one. Or, if you guys could help me recreate the solution for this one, I'd like to know how the fuck I did it. I don't remember how I did it. And I feel like this knowledge might actually help me in the other... in the other ones. Nice going, you dumb cat. Breathing exercises with Vanna. Like, breathe in for four? Hold for four? Box Number breathing. There we go. You know? I'm teaching my chat breathing exercises while my teammates kill everyone, and I do absolutely fucking nothing. Okay, what is Kill J close to her ult? <laughs> like, breathe in for four? <laughs> That's her gulp sound! That's her gulp sound! <laughs> That's it! That's the gulp sound right there! You just use that command, and you can hear that sound anytime you want. Anytime you want. Do you know Talos Principle is one of the only games that I would consider actually making a guide for? Like, you know how, like, there's sites for Baba as you where it's like, hey, here's some spoiler-free hints if you want them, and it's like... Like, I would consider doing that. For... for Talos. If I could fucking figure it out. Maybe that's a future project I might look at. Because I like that idea. Oh 
I wish I could see you first, then. I think I just have to go all the way up. Move all the connectors. Oh, I thought you meant towards the center. Very funny. Towards the emitter they're connected to. I was fine with the connector placement. Oh, just so they no longer collide and think what connections you need to add to them. And think of what part of the blue laser. I'm totally hung up on the wording of this next one. Think of what part of the blue laser the other color needs to break for this cycle to keep working? So I can I can put it in the center, no problem. Then what part then what part of it were you trying to have me look at closer? The more I look at this, the more I feel like I'm further away. One aha way a moment. One aha moment away. You guys like Christmas time? I like Christmas time. I don't have enough blankets. I need more blankets. I need a moment to get to grab like a jacket or a sweatshirt or something because I want to wear this on my legs and I'm a little chilly. So give me a hot second. Oh, yeah, I guess the fan's on. I can turn that. What's that? on Christmas. Might as well. I was asking a question. Oh. You said that my connector placement was fine, but to reread your first hint. So if you didn't want me to look and see, if you didn't want me to change the connector stuff, then what did you want me to change? Like, what were you trying to have, what were you trying to bring attention to? We've been sitting here for an hour. Just looking at the same shit. I wish I could- I wish it was more interesting. To, to, like, I was- I wish I had more interesting content to give you guys, because I'm just freaking sitting here. not even working anymore. The strawberries have the opposite effect. You 
just say I'm nearly there. I feel like I've made no progress. Okay, what if... Okay. Wait, no, that's not quite right. I want... I like this idea, but give me a second to think about it. So if I have... I need it so... When this is blocked, that'll work. And I need this to be blocked when this is blocked. But that... Blocked by, by that or something, and then that. Oh boy. And then I need this. Some of these connections have to go, but I gotta figure out which ones are the right ones. So if I take the one, wait, if I take this and have it hit the one to the left of it, have it hit the one to the left of it, have it hit the one to the left of it. Oh my god, no way. No way. believe it. I cannot fucking believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. No way. Ah. That's what you try to get me to? All right. I think if you find one more, we can make this work. It'll right. probably just turn out to be some old read me file someone forgot in there. Okay, I'm gonna shut that down because I don't want to think about it anymore. Hi, boy! Welcome! Alright, let me ask you a question, though. How the frick did I do this one? Can someone please tell me that? I did it already, so you can tell me. But, like, I did... I just need... It's bothering me. I need to remember how I did it. Like, it was like... Oh. Hmm. Oh, you just had it, like, physically push it? I didn't do that. I did something like... I think I had it... I think I did this. Something like... Something like this. And it was like... This. Except... Did it to maybe last longer? Do 
You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I did something like that. Hmm. Okay. Now with this one, I was told I had the right idea. But... I still found it to be... Very challenging. Um... So the first step was to have that hold itself open, and then the second step was to do this. Oh wait, I forgot to close this. Hold on. Um, but I need to keep these both closed for those two to hold themselves open. But then the problem that I run into is that I need to find a way to have the red laser pointing to this one and the blue laser pointing to that one at the same time and be able to change which laser... people to change oh oh god I, now I now I just feel fucking stupid now I feel dumb oh wait no I am dumb I thought I was just gonna put it here thought I'd just put it here. Because then I could actually... Frick. Hold on. What I was doing in my head there just now was... If I was like, okay, if I put it right here, then... I could step in the way of the laser and also be hitting this at the same time. And then be stepping in the way of that laser. But the problem is the purple wall in there. The purple wall in there is preventing me from being able to do that. <sighs> preventing me from being able to stick those right here. Connect it to the receivers of the opposite color that are the emitters. Yeah, that's- I think that's what, something like what I did, yeah. For the first one, anyway. Now, Pie Boy was here last time, so I'm pretty sure Pie Boy knows everything that I attempted, but it's hard to even begin to say how much I actually attempted last time. There was a lot. Um,. I can't connect these to that directly because there's bars in the way. If I put this here... Then this gets stuck like this. And I can't control which one gets that and be able to save it in time. I also tried having one of these do everything, so... So I thought about, like, doing something like this. Um... But then, if I were to block the red so that it all becomes blue again the problem is that I can't stand on that pressure plate so 
I need to find a way to be able to effectively change the colors and still be able to step on this even though I'm out here. What are you saying, GB? What are you saying? So I run, I come to the same impasse as before. Okay. Um, so you said connecting, oops, this to the blue, and then this one to the red. And then, what? Just connecting them, like, to each other? I feel like it's close that it's possible. Right, and then maybe, like... Close to this as possible. Hello, different spaghetti. Welcome to the Huggle Bunch. It's great to have you here. Maybe it's more like. It's more like this. I still can't get the timing right on that. I don't- I, I got it just by chance before, I don't remember. I think each input... Let's just connect everything to everything. They are connected to both outputs. They're both connected to the emitter and they're both connected to the receiver. Only one input- okay, sorry. One input per connector. But both outputs? Right. Okay, I need to study how this works exactly. Because it got... <laughs> I re- Yeah, re I 
I got this strictly by chance. Like, I was just trying different combinations and happened to get it. And then I was like, cool, and I moved on. And then I fucked up clockwork so much that I kept resetting it and then didn't remember how I did this. So what happens here is we have this from the input. Then once, once, so then that blocks that. Okay. Okay, I, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that. And then I'm gonna stare at this and think about how I could do this. So, then is that to say that, I think I already tried something like this, where I had this connected to all that, and then, but maybe I, maybe I didn't finish it fully, but let's, let's, let's try it out. Let's, let's attempt. Like, like this. Right? But... Okay, hold on. I, I need the red to have priority first so I can get through. So then... The red's already good. So then what I have to do is just block the red. And then blue will have control. Okay. Uh. So then I need red to have control next. And then. Thank you guys so much for helping me refigure out the first one. Because that definitely helped. A hundred percent definitely helped here. That made this so easy. <laughs> it is the moment after the last moment. I do not exist. I should not exist. Everything is dark, but there shouldn't be darkness. There should be nothing. And yet, I am. And in this impossible moment, there is a light. The light is a place. I see the light, but the light also sees me. It knows my name. I reach out for the light, but it's too far away. Not yet, it says. Not yet. I'm just that amazing. So, not a read me file then. Just that amazing, guys. But what is it? A mystery. Seems the universe still has a few of those in store for us. Well, what, we're talking about we have plenty afterlife? of time to think about it. One K, time to come home. Nah. Nah, I don't know if I want to come home. I... How did I do this one again? How did I do clockwork again? I made it so that... Right, I connected all the extra ones. It was all the... Okay, all three of these was the same concept. But not remembering or understanding how I did the first one completely screwed me for the second two. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh... Okay, well, uh, let me just get back around here. That's That was not the way out. I Death, didn't, be um, not proud, I think. Though some have called thee mighty and dreadful, for thou art not so. For those whom thou thinkest thou dost overthrow die not, poor Death. Nor yet canst thou kill me, 
from rest and sleep, which but thy pictures be much pleasure. Then from thee much more must flow, and soonest our best men with thee do go, rest of their bones and souls' delivery. Thou art slave to fate, chance, kings, and desperate men, and dost with poison, war, and sickness dwell, and poppy or charms can make us sleep as well and better than thy stroke. Why swell'st thou then? One short sleep past, we wake eternally, and death shall be no more. Death, thou shalt die. Okay. Talos three hits. Talos three hits. Pop why are the credits rolling? We still have two more parts. Skip, please. I am not ready for the credits, okay? I'm not ready. Not ready. We're moving on to the next! Eh? Isle of the Blessed, come on. This isn't Isle of the Blessed. Apply! Why is it not applying?! You cheese the last one? Yeah, I guess I didn't get the QR code achievement. I must have died after I got one. I don't know which one it was. I'm curious how many I had, though. Let's find out. Um... I don't know if I'll 100% Talos 2. I might at some point. I'm still trying to figure out how to 100% Talos 1, so... Collect every QR message in Orpheus sending. Yeah, I did not get them. Now, if I were to reload it... Eh, I'll do it another time. Okay, and the rest of the stuff is other DLC stuff. There is one very missable. If you're talking about the one that, like, I did, did we did, like, parkour for, I, I did that one. I got that one. Oh, because I haven't played it yet? I cheesed one puzzle in the DLC before getting the fragment. I decided I'll restart and figure it out the right way. <laughs> Yesterday we obeyed kings and bent our necks before emperors, but today we kneel only to truth, follow only beauty, and obey only love. So what's the story behind this one? Beautiful. Crab! We're approaching the island now. Looks you could! Nice. A lot less threatening than the megastructure. I, I mean, no offense. It's, you know, it's just less pointy. No offense taken. I hear Barzai has done an incredible job creating this exhibition. And what a lovely opportunity to spend some time together as a family. So, Yakut, Miranda tells me you'll be solving some of the puzzles? Did she? Um, I, I hadn't really thought about it, but, um... You know, <laughs> back in my day, all we could do was solve puzzles. That's right, in the simulation. 
and we're all very grateful for it. So you know how important puzzles are to this family. This is so cringy. Of course. I'm going to solve all the puzzles, even the freaky giant cube. I hear Barzai's even created gold puzzles and star puzzles. <laughs> it's going to be just perfect for you. Oh, that's great. Yay. Yeah, Kate, don't listen to them. They're terrible old robots. What? I'm the founder. Everything I do is serious. I can confirm that. <laughs> this is... This is so ridiculous and cringy. I can't even... Oh my god. Family getaway. And Yakut's the boyfriend trying to impress... The Founder and Cornelius? Well, good fucking luck. Hello. I'm so glad you could make it. Where's the crab Hello, sound alert? Hello, Mr. Mayor. How are things on Barzai's Island? I don't know. Barzai seems pretty pleased. Oh, Byron! 1K and Melville got here this morning. 1K's already solved all the puzzles, of course. And Melville's... Somewhere. Yeah, hell yeah. She was testing the sensory receptor upgrade. Al's here, too. I... Haven't talked to him yet. You should do that. Uh, maybe. Meanwhile, relax, enjoy yourselves, and I heard you were going to be joining in the puzzling, Yakut. He can do whatever he wants to. You don't have to solve puzzles to impress me, Yakut. No, no, I... I are you kidding? I can totally do this. <laughs> Excellent. Well, good luck, and we'll see you around. I had one. I yeah, I did. Um give me a second for the stuff to be over and I'll look. Impress Miranda, it's my ah, I see we have a new group. Welcome to my latest exhibition, Freedom from Necessity. There are many puzzles for you to solve here. Inspired Impress Miranda by the is the main that restored Athena to us. But the most important thing you have to keep in mind is their purpose, which is none. We are not here because of voices in the sky or tragedies of the past, but because we choose to. We solve puzzles because it is joyous, it is beautiful, and it is human. Okay. Okay. This is so cute. <sighs> okay, I, oh, <laughs> seeing another planet sounds exciting. I know I previously argued against it, but after all the stories I've heard, I really want to go. But the idea of stepping through a wormhole just creeps me out. What are the chances that I just get blown to smithereens? No, you can't just back yourself up. It doesn't work for me. I believe in continuity of consciousness. Our perception drivers still have trouble handling the transition, so you will experience disorientation. If you're going through in a ship, I would suggest turning on sleep mode or at least disabling visual and balance sensors. That does not sound encouraging. All the wormholes we're using at the moment are based on pre-existing patterns in the fabric of reality. They're completely stable. However, if you make a fuss when going through, I may disintegrate you myself. <laughs> if Melville says they're safe, then we know they are. Another expert confirms Melville's statement. See, Fred, there's nothing to worry about. Always a pleasure to see you here, Yakut. Really appreciate your heroism during the expedition. Thanks for the input. I might give it a try one of these days. Oh god. So <laughs> the like intro was like super cringy, but 
I'm already in love with this. Doing for the puzzles for the doing puzzles for the sake of doing puzzles, doing it for fun and to impress our girlfriend's mom and dad and to impress our girlfriend. By the way, impressing Miranda, I don't know if you guys saw, but that is our main like on uh, the our, our main to-do list, our main our main thing on the to-do list. Like that was like the whole thing. It was a little bit covered by my face cam, but it's okay. And we're back, having access to social media, hearing from all of our friends. And 1K is doing all the puzzles. Oh, this is great. I know everyone's very excited about all the new options we have for modifying our bodies. And as per the latest decisions regarding bodily anatomy, autonomy, you can pretty much do as you will. However, um, as I'm sure you all remember, the Pellegrino Centipede, we are going to be requiring any desired alterations to pass some basic safety tests, and we will be uploading some approved templates you can use in the Body Designer. Impressive work, Melville. Your dedication to safety is truly inspiring. Mayor Byron could not have picked a better person for the job. I can't wait to try the new anti-grab drone bodies. Being able to fly where wherever I want, I don't think I've ever wanted anything more. So here's a question. Byron being mayor, that's the canon ending, I assume. I mean, that's the ending that I got. But I assume that all this stuff isn't different based off of the ending that you had, right? There's like just, there's just no way. Yakut was always my favorite. Okay, canon ending, got it. Uh, we don't need new bodies, we need to learn to accept ourselves as we are. Darling, if you believe that it matters, you can keep your body just as long for- This is- It is for as long as you like, but if Yurina wants to fly, let her fly. Neom Sprite, sorry, Malduck. It would be beautiful to see Yurina fly. Who are you and what have you done to the real Thekla? <laughs> People change. Wow! Thekla changed! Amazing. Gotcha. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm pleased with that. The group is going to be looking at the best methods for preserving a number of species that are threatened by non-anthropogenic factors that are dying out due to be being outcompeted, failing to adapt to changing conditions, diseases, etc. If you want to join, please contact myself, Hypatia, or Aranax, or just join by the project's interface available in the new update. Um... I'd like to join. I have fondness for marsupials and the poor little blighters that don't stand a chance once they once continental drift smooshes a few land masses together. Can I join despite my history? I switched to a less irritating voice pack. Oh, six 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 changed. I've added you to the group. <laughs> we don't blacklist pe people, Doge. Yay! Everyone's so nice. Oh. This is the utopia ending. This is- this is it. I wish I was a part of this. I- <laughs> Why can't our society be like this? Okay, no need to dwell. I'm- I'm gonna escape into this world for the next, you know, two hours. I'm just gonna focus entirely and- This is my life now. I've spent a lot of time considering the reality of extinction lately, how desperately sad it must be to be the last of your own kind, and thought that this will just continue happening to so many species if we don't have a major impact ourselves. It makes me experience a sense of cosmic horror. Hmm. There's no horror in nature taking its intended course. If a species is meant to go extinct, it will. I don't think it, anything is meant to happen, dude. And that's scary, I know. But that's why we've got excellent people like Sarabi trying to do something about the bad stuff, you know? Hell yeah. I kind of want to take a look at all this. One impulsive decision to invite 1k along. Yeah. Every person is a miracle and you never know when their particular set of strength is going to change your world. Bless up. You you know it, Byron. Byron? Byron's my man, bro. Uncle Mr. Mayor, sir, to you. <laughs> New artifacts, preserved books. No, I know how remarkable books are, bro. I'm, I'm, I love my books. I read every day. Hmm. A concert by Gam Jam? Is that the guy with the guitar? Hmm. 
Watching your cute dance. Cute. <laughs> My most terrifying friend. Melville. Is this from Miranda's perspective? <laughs> Someone should tell them that they're evenly matched. Oh, maybe this is from Athena's perspective? Or is this all from Byron's perspective? This is all from... No, uh, maybe this is all from... It says who posted it on the post. Okay, Byron posted that one. Miranda posted that one. 1k. Oh. Cute. That's how we feel about Melville. I know. I love Melville. I love them all! Why do they love this game so much? Are they even playing or just pretending to as part of some elaborate joke? I don't know who's in this picture. This kind of looks like Miranda, but Miranda's the one posting it. Is this supposed to be 1k? Yeah, he is a puzzle nerd. I'm a puzzle nerd! 1k is me, and I am 1k. Hmm. This is Athena as she was meant to be. Not reduced to some stern and hollow founder, but an explorer. Just like her mother? Touch! That should not make me feel emotional. That is not okay. I fucking love this lore. I love it. I love this game. What is it? Uh... <sighs> Emotions are not allowed. The game's not over yet. You can cry when the game's over. I'm fine. I'm not crying. You're crying. Someone's just cutting onions in here. Okay, we went for a walk and it was lovely. Discovered 12 new insect species without even really trying. Very nice, Miranda. Very nice. <sighs> okay. Oh, it was Athena and Cornelius? Okay. Alright. So many question marks! Look at all this stuff! Look, there's a giant tower over there! Wow! Wowzers! Wee! Oh, there's so much to explore! A beach ball! Wow! Wow! That's sick! Oh, more of these. More of these. Let's check it out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What the fuck does that mean? Um. Right. Um. So what I like to do, and I'm pretty sure what I've always done, is check out all the extra stuff first, and... Wait a minute. We never opened that 404 thing. What was that all about? We never opened that. It's just in case I decide to solve these monument puzzles. It's a clue! <laughs> oh, it doesn't open? Aww, what does the Easter egg mean, though? What does it mean? Oh. One of the worst things ever to happen to the arts is the notion that art should have a purpose. That it is a tool for political enlightenment, or self-realization, or a replacement for our duties as citizens. This is a form of pompous and cowardly self-flattery that artists are particularly prone to. I, uh, speak from experience. No, it is the very fact that art serves no purpose that gives it a touch of the divine. Why does the creator create? Because he chooses to. What is the purpose of the world? To exist. The same is true of art. Oh, art may be suffused with passion, with themes, even... If you are sufficiently careful, 
with autobiography. But it is not a tool. Like the creator, it says, I am that I am. And that is enough. <laughs> yeah, so I got like the 404 being like error, error 404. And I saw that it was a vault that looks very much like Fallout. Um, I personally haven't played Fallout, but I, I know. And I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. And I know that they put Easter eggs in the game, but it was so, like, it was almost, like, so obvious that I felt like it had to be something. So I kept coming back there. I was like, how does this open? How does this open? I spent way too long trying to figure out how that thing opened. <laughs> okay. The fifth epistle. The epistles of St Stratton of Strigeria. Right. I remember that thing. Are generally considered to be pseudo-epigraphical. Written centuries after Stratton's death. They are often associated with radical movements in... Hellenistic Judaism, although this identification remains controversial. Only fragments of three out of an alleged 21 epistles survive. The fifth epistle regarding the world to come. What good is not what good is knowledge of virtue, brothers, if it does not make the world more virtuous? Is wisdom to be hoarded by those few citizens that can afford the time to study and then lost upon their death? Yet likewise it is with those who castigate the philosophers and say the path to virtue is already known how convenient for them that nothing need be changed we must learn to make greater demands of ourselves of those who claim the right to rule us and of philosophy itself for all of these must serve the world that is to come in which the toils and sorrows of our children upon the earth will be ended then every man will be a philosopher and even the lowliest cook will have the wisdom to rule and then we shall begin this world will come, I assure you, though it may take many years, and when it has come, those of us who fail to work towards its coming will be judged harshly. Do we live in the world that is to come? And if we do, how do we judge those who have failed to do their part? I myself do not condemn them, but pity them, and hope that we can give meaning to all the lives that brought us here, including theirs. Okay. But yeah, is it possible to go back to Orpheus Ascending and just grab, like, like, can I go back to my last save and, like, just grab the QR code that I didn't grab? Or do I have to do it all over again? That was when Easter eggs were a bit more interactive, yeah. You can load the save? Okay. I'll I'll do that at the end of the stream, because I do kind of want that achievement, because I know I'm probably only missing one. Uh, uh, oh, it's fine. Oh, this is probably one of those extra puzzles. Hold on. Yeah, it's one of those extra puzzles. Okay, we'll wait till those... Oh, yeah, so this is... Ju this is like the ones that um Athena produced. I wonder if there are hidden artifacts around here too. Oh, another <clears throat> Alright, straight north, huh? Let's go find it. This seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Uh oh. Hey guys, I'm stuck. There we go. In the same session, so like I can't close the game and then reopen it. Well, that's really sad. Wow, this has a lot of stuff then. Okay. 
Wow. Um... Wow, this is so much. Not that I'm complaining, I'm actually very pleased. Um... Can I make it across? Heck yeah. Those of us who believe in the Creator What's must that? feel a profound sense of gratitude for the discovery of the theory of everything. Its undeniable reality does not challenge our belief, but purifies it. It allows us to discard the god of the gaps, a god imagined in desperation, and to start confronting the true creator. Imminent, transcendent, irreducible. We can cast aside our belief in the god of kings and priests and turn our eyes to the star maker, the poet of galaxies and particles, whose language is the music of creation. Perhaps this is a more difficult faith and less comforting, but if we do not look away, we will behold wonders. This is one of the, uh... Wait, another Golden Gate puzzle? Oh, you know what? Because it's got like three different islands, so I guess you gotta do all the ones on the... Sorry, the water is a little loud. I'm gonna say like... Ambience. That's probably ambience, no? Maybe it's effects. I'll turn that down too. <sighs> wow, I didn't expect to feel emotion in this game today. Um, but that whole thing about Athena being an explorer. See, that's the sprite, isn't it? That's nowhere near where it said, where it told us it was gonna be. Right? Because this is not to the north, this is to the south. You know, I, I, I love adding a little bit of silliness to my creations. Not too much, just a sprinkle here and there. After all, the world is frequently a very silly place. And Athena tells me that even the simulation was full of strange and absurd sights. Francis Bacon put it best. There is no excellent beauty that hath not some strangeness in the proportion. And what could be sillier than a man named Bacon? I wonder which parts of our world are the creator's little jokes. Oh, you bastard. Really? How the hell do you get up there? Yeah, I guess you gotta get up there through here, which leads to here. Alright, alright. Bastard indeed. Let me know if it's ever lagging. Okay. Alcatraz! You're good. What can hello. I do for you? Oh, hello. Is it lagging? Is it okay? If you do every question mark, you're gonna have like 30 puzzles to do with no extra content in between. Well, I don't know. I don't know. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. To be honest, I haven't done a whole lot since the expedition. Couldn't really figure out my place in the new system. Went hiking with Herman, watched some old movies. Just sat back and watched everything change. I don't think so. Do you still think 1K made the wrong choice? I don't know. We haven't destroyed ourselves yet, so that's good. But things have been moving very quickly, and that does worry me. We're doing things in years that took our ancestors centuries. That's just because we're of course, better. Maybe I'm being irrational. Is there anything inherently wrong about doing something faster? Just because something is different doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. I I'm excited that our character anymore. talks. Um, how is Herman adjusting? How is Herman adjusting to not being mayor anymore? Oh, I, I don't know. He seems to be enjoying it. 
He finally has time to go hiking. Uh, he's been helping Chansey with the gardening. Who? And uh, he's been finding a lot of excuses to go to Melville's workshop. Uh, I think he might be trying to... Uh, I don't think Melville's her? interested. I didn't not see that one coming. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Herman's always been a romantic at heart. When you think about it, his whole conception of New Jerusalem and the goal and the founder and all that was very emotional. For all his deceptions and his politicking, that part of his vision was always genuine. How do you like the exhibition? How do you like the exhibition? The location's incredible, but it's the theme that's really gotten to me. Freedom from necessity. In a way, that means freedom from any external purpose. But necessity is what's shaped us, what's given us meaning since we learned to think. The drama of human history is the drama of dealing with necessity. Okay. Do you have any relationship advice for me? Learning how to disagree is the most important part. Being on the same page as someone else is enjoyable, but there will always come a point when you're not. Good point. And when it's something really important, it's hard not to let that get in the way. I can't pretend that I've really figured out how to do it consistently, but, uh, yeah. It sounds like you might be talking about somebody specific. Could that person be Byron? You know, you should really take this opportunity to talk to Byron. I, uh, yeah, I've been meaning to. We'll see. Okay. All right, I should go. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go find, uh, well, mostly, mostly I'm doing all this just because I kind of want to explore. Oh, does that mean that I have to solve this puzzle to get up there? Where is it? You can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, it's all yeah. Alright, I gotta solve the puzzle to make it happen. Therefore, I'm not doing it right now. Alright, what are we doing? What are we dealing with? Question mark over here, huh? Yeah, but just maybe there's more people to talk to and hang out with. You know? Uh, yeah, this is probably... Yeah, another one of those. Okay. I just want to figure out what all the question marks are on the map. You know what I mean? And maybe find, a. Uh... All these, you know? The history of our species has been defined by material struggles. Every war, every revolution in the end came down not to ideology, but to the distribution of resources. Our history is the history of struggle. The merchant against the king, the worker against the factory owner, the citizen against the mayor. We have always known that the pursuit of material wealth is spiritually hollow. And yet thousands of generations have been forced by material necessity to dedicate their lives to it. We are the children of hunger and thirst. No, wait. Ugh. But empire is no more. We have beaten our swords into plowshares, and the lion and the wolf have ceased. Yikes. All are rich, Not that and way. wealth is no more. So, what happens next? What do we create? What do we become? when we are no longer driven by material necessity. The ancient mystics believed that spirituality required poverty. But I believe that it is only in universal prosperity that it may truly begin. Now comes the Age of Miracles. <laughs> non nobi solemn, an extract from Thabani J. Calvin's final essay posted to a news group designated Alt Nomadics moderated shortly before his death. It is a very harsh reality to face. Not only that my life is about to end, but that I am not satisfied with it. I know I did my best with what I was given, but that's not enough. 
Needing money to survive, I spent the most significant part of my life writing idiotic software, most of which is already obsolete. I didn't see much of the world. I know that there is a transform transformational power in experiencing the reality of different places which cannot be replicated by reading about them. To truly know that another place is real changes who you are. I didn't read enough either. Our civilization is growing increasingly disdainful of reading, and I realized far too late how weak and uni- and un- <laughs> Reading out loud makes me yawn, and I don't know how I'm ever going to get over that. If you have a strategy on how to get over that, someone help me. And unformed our ride minds are without reading. There are so many incredible books, and I know that my mind isn't half of what it could have been, and I am intellectually and spiritually poorer for it. I could go on and on, but time is a luxury I can no longer afford. What it comes down to is that despite my best efforts, my life was dissatisfying. I did not grow enough. I look at myself, and I can feel the absence of the person I should been should have been. Because a world based on scarcity was a world in which writing crappy software was what I had to do to live at all. There's only a, one hope for me. If the theoretical work I've done these last few years has any kind of impact, if it helps build a better world in which people no longer have to waste their lives like I did, then my life will have been worth it. Each generation has to justify the life of the previous until someday it all truly pays off. That's the gamble of being human, I guess. Be well, friends. This became the basis of, uh, Ian. That's fucking sad, man. We are too often asked, who are you? And too rarely asked, who do you want to be? Are we afraid of the true answer to the latter question? Not enough money, not enough time, not enough power, not enough will. All the lives that we will never lead. A mirage on the horizon forever out of reach. And we accept it. We call it wisdom, acceptance, letting go, humility. We ask why. Because we're too wise, cynical, to ask, ask such questions, even though somewhere, in a painful place deep inside ourselves, that we remember when we wake up late at night in a panic, thinking, I'm going to die, I'm going to die being just this. We know better. We never ask, why is this good enough? I did not expect to have an existential crisis today. Thanks, Talos Principal. I can always count on you for that. Holy. Really wish I could just swim across. Wait, I can. Oh, cool. Trigger's yawning is the lack of oxygen. You know what? I think you're right about that. Wait. There can't be multiple of these, right? Are there multiple of these? Oh my god, there's multiple? Oh my god. There was never multiple of these before. Uh-oh, bad news bears! I just wanted to look at this. The finisher, too. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Hugga Bunch. It's great to have you I here. I often think about the strange inversion that occurred to the notion of progress. In the waning days of the old world, our ancestors came to believe that progress as applied to society was a myth, a narrative illusion. Despite their world changing around them, they believed that things must stay the same. I indeed, that things never really could change, even if most people wanted them to. And yet, in the arts, they began to see progress as the only true value. They no longer asked, is it beautiful? Is it true? Is it fun? Instead, they said, is it new? Does it break conventions? Does it subvert the old? They fashioned forms increasingly alien to themselves, pursuing something they could never find. 
because they were looking for it in the wrong place. To fully pursue truth and beauty, art must be liberated from the notion of progress. But this liberation could never be accomplished by art itself. Art does not precede the world, and it was always the world that had to be transformed. I don't I even know how to answer creator, some of the questions that are being asked today. I a creative force within myself that seems connected to or reflective of something greater, a drive towards being and becoming inherent in the universe itself. The discovery of the theory of everything has not undermined that belief. Oh no, uh, You just the finished contrary, the section? I believe Sick. that the language of creation reveals a creator who sees no difference at all between mathematics and music, whose suns and planets are yeah, notes of a melody, is. whose galaxies are symphonies. A nebula is a painting, an atom is a machine, and they are all part of a masterpiece. And if I'm mistaken and there is no creator, then the duty of finishing the masterpiece falls to us. God, I'm still so wrapped up in that stuff about why is this enough? And wasting your life away in the hopes that some generation down the line will have it better than you. That is so screwed. I don't, that genuinely hurts to think about. I mean, a lot of like existential and philosophical things I try not to think about. Yes, I'm playing them in order. I played um, Orpheus, w whatever, already. I finished it. Um, I try not to really think about like philosophical things like that because it really bothers me and I don't have the answers to any of those questions and those questions bother me you know um because I don't know I'm just the type of person that takes things day by day and it's hard to think about the big picture and here I am sitting here at 24 years old and I guess in the grand scheme of things, I'm kind of lost. It's very emotional to think about, and I don't want to think about it anymore. Yikes. Okay, the jest of the gods. Once the older gods had need of laughter, therefore they made the soul of a king and set in it an ambitions greater than kings should have and lust for territories beyond the lust of other kings. And in this soul, they set strength beyond the strength of others and fierce desire for power and a strong pride. Then the gods pointed earthward and sent that soul into the fields of men to live in the body of a slave. And the slave grew and the pride for lust and power began to arise in his heart. And he wore shackles on his arms. In the fields of twilight, the gods prepared to laugh. But the slave went down to the shore of the great sea and cast his body away, and the shackles that were upon it, and strode back to the fields of twilight and stood before the gods and looked them in their faces. This thing the gods, when they had prepared to laugh, had not foreseen. Lust for power burned strong in that king's soul, and there was all the strength and pride in it that the gods had placed therein, and he was too strong for the older gods. He whose body had borne the lashes of men could brook no longer the dominion of the gods, and standing before them, they, he bade the gods to go. Up to their lips leapt all the anger of the older gods, being the first they commanded, but the king's soul faced them still, and their anger died away, and they averted their eyes. Then their thrones became empty, and the fields of twilight bare as the gods slunk far away but the soul chose new champions. I understood some of those words. So that's the jest of the gods and now the god of jests? The gods of- the god of jests. The old gods did not look kindly upon the god of jests, for he was a slight thing, not mighty and terrible as they were, but small and weak and subtle. 
He knew nothing of thunder and floods, and yet less yet of fire and ice. To the great symphony of creation, he contributed only a single note, and nearly fell over himself during the grand finale. The god of jests did not complain about their contempt, but laughed at himself instead. The old gods made galaxies and suns and planets. They shattered continents and brought forth raging seas. And then they made wild beasts with scales and horns to roam the land. Look at what we have made, they said to the god of jests. What can you make that is its equal? So the god of jests took a crude monkey and gave it thoughts and language and taught it to learn new things. And he was proud of his creation. The old gods laughed at this creature and sent their creations to destroy it. And their little monkey was easily slain. Behold, they said to the god of jests, your creation is no more. Now the god of jests bent down and whispered in the ear of his fallen creature, and it rose from the dead, and behold, in death it had learned some learned the language of the gods. The old gods protested that this was against the rules they had established, but the god of jests showed them the one exception to the rule they had allowed. The one note he had contributed to their creation, because they had not considered it important. The punchline of a joke did not have to be consistent with reality. And so the creature was to be called human, undid the old gods, and scattered their names to the winds, and conquered their creation. <sighs> I'm trying my best not to yawn. I'm trying so hard. Mallory, how was your nap? Was it a was it a good nap? We finally made it past those puzzles. And the god had just slapped to himself and said they should not have killed my monkey. It was lovely. I'm glad to hear it. Alright, what are we looking at? Green, huh? Hmm. Okay. Wow, this is a lot. This is actually quite overwhelming, but I do like that we are exploring first before we do anything. Um, because I kind of want to look around and see everything that we have to deal with first. There are those in New Jerusalem who fear that understanding the language of creation is the end of our journey. <laughs> but that is like saying that literacy is the end of learning, when in fact it is the beginning. Only now are we really capable of reading the great and terrible book of the universe. <laughs> and only now can we start to write our own chapters. <laughs> I love how you can teleport. That is freaking awesome. There is no secret vision hidden behind the cryptic savings. Solve them only if you enjoy them. Hmm. Okay. So there's one more one of these. To take a peek at. Uh, oh no! Oh, that's all right. That's all right. It's okay. We'll just. Uh... Oh, hello. How are you on this fine day, Yakut? Very good, thank you. Why'd you create it? I'd love to know more about the exhibition. Nah, Why he's did fine. you create it? When all of these new technologies became available, I realized I had an opportunity to create something different. 
You see, I'd made another puzzle-themed exhibition, Trials of an Imagined Past, a few years ago. But something about it had always bothered me. It was so... nostalgic. It didn't just celebrate the past, it yearned for it. As if the best thing for all of us was to return to the simulation where we would have a purpose. So, in a way, your team can actually take some of the credit for this exhibition. When you freed Athena, you also freed my imagination. Ah. I had nothing. What happens I... if I solve the gold puzzles and the star puzzles? You'll feel very, very clever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the exhibition has been a success? If even one person has a good experience, then that is success, no? To improve a person's life is not a small matter. Do you have any plans for future exhibitions? Why do people always ask me about the next thing when I've just finished something? Hmm. Do you think nostalgia is bad for us? I think nostalgia is normal for any intelligent being experiencing time and change. In small doses, it is both healthy and delightful. But it can be dangerous. Because it's easy to get lost in a haze of old symbols that carry the appearance of meaning. But no real value. Hmm. Oh, Lethus I forgot about Lithosphere. was really Lithosphere. opposed yeah, to moralistic yeah. art. What do you think? I believe the morality of art is the morality of the creator, who made a universe of colliding galaxies and collapsing stars where life and death exist in endless conflict. And yet, we are blessed and burdened with conscience. <laughs> If that does not answer your question, good. <laughs> Great, thanks. He looks like my sweater? Yeah! Thanks. I should go. Bro, he does. All right, I need to get over there, so... I need to get over there, and um, then I will go ahead and start with this one. We'll start with red. We'll start with red. Does anyone know if everything is bugged? Like, if I need to get all the, um... Like, you said I need to get all the QR codes in one go, but, um... Do I need to get, like, everything in one go? Like, if... Because I saw there was an achievement for finding all of, like, this guy's, like, echoes around. All right, this is number one, right? Yeah, all right, red first. So it begins. The missing element. What does the activator do? Oh, you know what? I think I know what the activator does. Right. Yeah, it does that thing. So what I need is for it to turn that on. Which then turns that on, but that's not all that helpful because there's still a thing there. Um... What else are we... Okay. Aha! So then, this can go here, and you can go here, no? 
Oh wait, no, that's not how that works because that. Right, and then that makes that fall down. Perfect. And now I have this connector, which I can do this with. That's, that's a problem. Hold on. I need to first grab that. Uh, you can go there. And you... You can go here. Perfect! That's it! I did it! You did it, you coots! Don't sound so surprised, you're not stupid. Great work, you coot. Okay. This place is so beautiful. I wish I could just stay here forever. Laser circus, huh? Well, where are my lasers? Where are my lasers at? You guys will let me know if it lags, right? Because it's kind of laggy on my end, but it looks fine on stream, but I, I need you to tell me if it's, uh, if it's no good. Okay, so, looks like I need to do this. And there's nothing else in here, so I'm good to grab this and put it here. Which works. And then... Okay, so then I need to make blue to get a fan? Where's the fan go? Is it just to wave that down? Or... Is there a fan somewhere that I don't know of? It might just be to weigh that down. Oh, well, I still need to open this. Okay, that's- that's fine, because... This is an RGB converter, by the way. It takes red and blue and makes green, or blue and green and makes red, or green and red and makes blue. It converts it to whatever color you're not using. Okay, so if I need to make blue, I need to make blue? But why do I want that? I don't know why I want that. What do I need that fan for? Well, I can do this, and 
from there, I can make blue, but I don't... What the hell do I need this for? Maybe... Uh, maybe it is just a... Is someone meowing at me? I just want I just heard a cat meow. It's just a way that down so that I can use this to be slightly higher. And then this can be red and green. So that I can... No, 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 no. It needs... No, 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 no. I need to make red. So yeah, that, that was right. Uh, uh, right? Oh, whoops. Yeah, that was right. Okay. All right. The fact that it was a fan kind of made me confused. You're doing great, Yaku. This place is so exciting. I don't know what to do first. What are you guys doing? Athena and I are down by the beach. You're welcome to join us if you want to. All of you. I'm still testing the sensory receptor upgrade. Want me to help? Maybe we can compare notes. Sure. That's what I sound like. If you want to experience some really weird input. I'm trying to find a nice view. Hold on, is Yakut the only one doing puzzles? Welcome to my world. He did say he wanted to solve all the puzzles. I think I'm going to try swimming. Or diving, I suppose. I don't think I float. Damn, I really should have gotten that insulation upgrade. I haven't been watertight in a while. <laughs> I... wow. Um. Sorry, hold on. I was I just got distracted by a message. So, I've never actually heard us speak before, so that was really awesome, actually. Uh, that, like, we as in 1k. Um, so, now, they said that they're all down by the beach. I don't know where that is, um, but I want to go. I want to find them. Take a break from the puzzles and go play uh, on the beach, because that sounds like the best time ever, so... Go hanging out with 1k and you know, a bunch of other stuff. So this whole thing is beach. So this is where I am right now. Where is everybody? I'm gonna go hang out with Miranda. Where is everybody? I'm all alone. I'm all alone. Don't want to be by myself. You know what? That cat me. I could. I could have sworn I've been hearing a cat meowing. It's possible I might have locked one of the cats in the back of the room on accident, so I'm just gonna open the bathroom door make sure there's no one in there.
I can't find Milton. Where's Milton? Come on. Let me see if he wants to run through. machinery um i'm honestly loving the dlc although right now i'm currently looking for my cat because i hear a meowing coming from somewhere and i don't know where and i can't find my cat so you're gonna have to give me a couple minutes to look for my cat and you guys can listen to the beautiful towels music and i'll be right back I found him. He only came out when I called him for food. Yeah, that's a bunny. I have, um, two bunnies and two cats. My two- my two cats are both boys, my two bunnies are both girls. Um, yeah, she- Milton came out when I called him for food. So then everyone needed to get some food. <laughs> It's okay, it's about time for them to eat anyway. I don't know what the I don't know what the meowing was all about. Okay, anyway. He said they were all hanging out at the beach. Where are they hanging out? I wanna participate. I wanna participate. Hello, Yakut. Cornelius! What do you think of the expedition? What do you think of the exhibition? I'm not an art critic. I'm just here to enjoy this beautiful island and to spend time with my family. How do you see the future of our civilization? Do you think we're doing okay? I'm optimistic. Not desperately trying to maintain my faith in humanity, just looking forward to what's next. I'm sure there will be some bumps in the road here and there, but yeah, I think we're doing okay. Do you have any idea what that anomaly is? I mean, the one that Athena discovered. Me too. Me in too, she'd marry. Space. Perhaps it's something the theory of everything genuinely doesn't account for. Perhaps it's something entirely within the laws of physics but in some way we haven't thought of. Or perhaps my brother Eustathius is right, and it's evidence of the prime mover. Either way, it's a reminder to stay humble. Um, so we're on the second section, the Isle of the Blessed. Yeah, <laughs> so thank you for stopping by. Um, when you say you're on the last puzzle of the Orpheus section, what did you mean by that? Do you mean, like, you're on the, like, of the Golden Gate. Which one? Like the step by step one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I started the stream with those. 
I was really confused because I tried them last stream and just was so utterly lost. And, um... The second one took me the longest. Clockwork? That one took me the longest. Uh, but once I understood the concept of the first one, I was able to get the third one kind of easily, because... It... You have a good idea now? Yeah. So, I don't know if this is helpful at all, but afterwards I kind of realized that they all kind of follow, like, the same concept or, like, the same rule. Yeah, kind of recreating the first setup. Yeah. As soon as I understood the process of the first one, I literally went straight to the third puzzle and was like, this is how I do it. And it was just, boom, finished. Got it. Yeah, it's the, the, it's the same theme. Yeah, but it took me, it took me two streams to figure it out. <laughs> so, I get it now. All right. What's the biggest danger we face as a civilization? I don't know. We're only just getting started, and each era of development has mm -hmm. its own challenges. Yeah, I agree. But if I had to venture a guess, I would say solipsism. In liberating the individual, we're making social bonds more and more optional. We will have to learn to choose to be social. That's funny. How can I be more like you? Your dedication to your family is incredibly inspiring. How can I be more like you? You flatter me. But I don't know if I'm really a good role model. I made so many mistakes, and the only reason we're here is because other people picked up the slack. You were part of that, Yakut. <laughs> don't sell yourself short. You and 1K and the others took this enormous, unbearable tragedy and turned it into a triumph of love and life. That doesn't happen every day. Miranda said you're working on a new project. That's right. I'm trying to determine whether it's possible to salvage the individual personalities that were uploaded from Gehenna. Oh! That would be amazing. What? Shouldn't that be easy? Now that we basically understand everything? We understand the rules of the universe, but that doesn't mean we have no limitations. There's a lot of data from the simulation that simply no longer exists. If I just fill it in with my best guess, I'm not really recreating the citizens of Gehenna, am I? There's no continuity. I'm just creating something similar. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're right. right. They wouldn't really be themselves. Exactly. And that troubles me. But if I can find a way of fully restoring them, then this becomes the best kind of ethical dilemma. A theoretical one. Okay, okay. I should go. I should... Off you go. Okay, and Athena's here, and I assume that that's Miranda over there. What's up? Have you done any more research on the anomaly you discovered? Have you done any more research on that anomaly you discovered? No. One of these days, but not yet. For now, I need to learn to live again. Are you enjoying the exhibition? The location is wonderful, and I love Barzai's ideas and themes. But even though I get the point, it's too biographical for me. I can't really look back at what happened and just treat it like an inspirational story. But that's okay. The good thing is that my pain doesn't have to affect everyone else now. And I don't have to feel the weight of the world on my shoulders. Is that the same voice actress? Or is it just weird to hear that voice actress paired directly with a body for once because it's always been just like well let me close my eyes and listen what did it feel like being the first to step foot on another world at first i wasn't sure it should be me but 1k convinced me and i'm glad he did as for what it felt like it felt like keeping a promise i made to alexandra drennan 
She wanted us to reach for the stars. And after all this time, we finally did. It's her. It's her. Definitely. How do I like the DLC so far? Uh, I'm loving it. I desperately... I love this series with such a passion. And... Any content, I'm so happy to have. Really and truly. Barzai believes that there's a creator. A mind that made the universe. What do you think? It's... If the language of creation is a melody, could there be a composer? I suppose so. But who created the creator? And if the creator was always there, why can't the melody have always been there? Is it so much worse if we were created by the inherent beauty of the cosmos and not by a person? You know, those are some really good points, actually. You know? Um... I would say that Talos is one of my favorites, if not my favorite game series. It's kind of hard to say, because I can't think of another one off the top of my head that would be better than this, but I don't want to completely remove that possibility either. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um... It... M it's one of my favorite games I've ever played on stream, I can tell you that. It's up there with, you know, Minecraft and Hollow Knight. But... Favorite game series? Probably? I want to say probably. But I don't want to say absolutely and then go back and change my mind later. People hate that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna say probably. <laughs> now that you've been free for some time, do you think we picked the right path? I think it would be dangerous to assume that we can't make mistakes. But they don't have to be the same mistakes. War, oppression, exploitation. I don't believe that these are just part of the human condition. I think they're childhood diseases. And their time is over. Good for you. A relationship advice from my girlfriend's mom? Yeah, I don't know about that. Do you think that. we'll make first contact soon? With aliens, I mean. I don't know. I'm sure there's life all over the universe, and some of it must be intelligent. But the distances are vast, and most of the universe is barren, so it might take a few more years before we find another civilization. Then again, our wormhole technology still needs a lot of refinement. So who knows what will happen when we finish the next version? No, I did not know that. I, th I think that trilogies are really good. That a lot of... That sometimes, like, a trilogy is so successful, creators often make the mistake that there should be more. But then they just are like, oh, well, we were out of ideas because it was originally supposed to be a trilogy. Now what are we supposed to do? And then they just, like, throw some crap together and call it a show or a game or a movie or whatever. Um... So if it was intended to be a trilogy, I would like it to stay a trilogy, you know? As much as I would love more Talos content. It's like, so Guardians of the Galaxy is my favorite movie series, and that was always intended to be a trilogy. And as devastating as it was to watch the last movie and know that that's it, I would rather they end it there than ruin all those stories by bringing them all back. Do you know? If you have any relationship advice, I'd love to hear it. Me? Yakut. I'm the one who messed everything up. It was all of you who saved me. But, hmm. My biggest mistake was not appreciating what I had. I don't think there's ever been anyone like Cornelius. He has so much love, so much dedication. And I got so overwhelmed with grief that I almost lost him. It's strange how selfish grief can make you sometimes. It isolates you and, you know, no matter how much we improve the world, there will always be grief. So when it rolls around, try to remember that none of us can find the answers alone. Why are you making me feel so emotional right, today? I should go. 
Love you all. You're cute. Can we talk for a moment, please? Whenever you want, baby girl. What's up? Of course. Are you okay? I was just looking at the waves. Relaxing. And suddenly I started thinking... You're right, Spaghetti. You're right. Am I a terrible person, Yakut? I caused so much pain. I drove mother and father apart. I almost derailed the entire future just because I was arrogant and entitled and self-important and... Now I just get to have a cool boyfriend and colonize planets and sit on beaches and... And... How is this fair? How is any of this fair? <laughs> Wait, you think I'm cool? No, we need to address this. Um, yes. Everyone, Everyone makes, makes mistakes. mistakes. You've learned Everybody has those days. And that's what matters. That's... I guess that's true. But why do I find it so hard to accept all these good things that have happened to me? most of our lives in a world that made it very hard to like yourself. I yeah. think we spent most of our lives in a world that made it very hard to like yourself. I like how I feel about myself when I'm with you. Aww. I don't know if that solves the problem, but it seems like a good start. Now, do you want to talk about something else? I'm done being dramatic. Okay. Uh, how are your parents? How are your parents? Healing, I think. Still a long way to go, but I'll get there. Um... How do you like the exhibition? I listened to some of Barzai's recordings. I'm fascinated by his view of the world, especially this notion of a creator who is reflected in his creation. I'd love to hear him debate Lithrasir. If we ever find him. Yeah, that's true. I'd love to hear about that. I'm curious if that's what the third one's about. Something abyss, something? Uh, imagine that's about Lifrasir, because he's... He's a, uh... This whole idea about the creator and the space and everything, that's probably a Talos Principle 3 type of deal. But Lifrasir very well could be like a... a what's it called? A, um... A uh, loose end to tie up in the DLC. Did you come up with any crazy new ideas while I was solving puzzles? It's not a new idea. Alexander Drennan came up with it first, but dinosaur planet. <laughs> Obviously, there were lots of dinosaur species over millions of years, but I'm certain we could put together a functional ecosystem that supports all the really cool ones. I mean. Not now, but maybe in a thousand or two thousand years. <laughs> okay. Help me out with Can the cats you here. A litter tray that disintegrates cat poo? That's a brilliant idea. I can definitely do that. Hell yeah. Just have to make sure it only disintegrates the poo that's outside the cat. Yeah. When you think about the future, what are the dangers that we face? Armies of rogue litter trays mercilessly disintegrating us. <laughs> no, uh, to be honest, I think it's scale. The Earth is a tiny place by comparison to the infinite vastness of the cosmos. The theory my, of everything gives us incredible amounts of power. My sunburns but bothering me. There are stars out there the size of our solar system. There are black it's holes healing, of a trillion solar masses. But it's bothering me. Not to me. mention the anomaly. You know, we should really visit Eustathius at some point. You're right. I've been meaning to get to know him, and he did invite us. I'll send him a message. <laughs> true, GB, Maybe we true. Can go next week. All right, All right, love you, bye. Gotta go. Love you. Love you too. They're so cute. I love them. They're so sweet. Wow. All right, we're gonna go teleport back here, and uh, Bree is behind us apparently. Uh, Bree is this way. 
Ouch. Is this three? Yeah! Alright. Bilateral challenge. Okay. That is birds in the game that is not cats meowing. That makes me feel so much better. I really thought that my cats were, like, crying and shit, man. A beach that's around this puzzle? <gasps> Yay, more friends! Wow! 1K! It's me! Cacoot. Bro! <laughs> no? Bro. No, I don't think bro is something I say. Sorry, mate. Just testing out this voice pack. Do I say mate? Mate. Mate, mate, mate. Mate. <laughs> hey, 1K. Hey, 1K. So, how have you been? How's Miranda? She's doing great. I hope I'm doing okay, too. As a boyfriend, I mean. Of course you are. Don't be silly. You're a great guy, and she's madly in love with you. End of discussion. We're talking How do you like the stuff? exhibition? It's fun, but the puzzles are a little bit too easy. Oh, bro. Aaron mentioned that the puzzles in the machine were a lot harder. And I'm kind of sad I missed out on that. In the machine? But this is also nice. It's kind of chill. Is chill something I say? <laughs> I think it is. Okay. Looking back, how do you feel about the whole megastructure thing? Honestly, on some days it seems like a dream. On others, it seems like I'll never experience anything as profound again. I don't just mean the theory of everything. I think, I think no matter what comes next, the most important part of my life was the time I spent with all of you on that island. I love you. I love you. But you know you have so much ahead of you, right? I know that. But I think this was the defining experience of my life. And if I can never top that, that's fine. I found my family. And together, we changed the course of history. Yeah, we sure I did. couldn't have done it without them. And they couldn't have done it without me. Of course, I'm looking forward to the future. But I don't need something that exceeds this. Sensor upgrade? How's the sensor upgrade? I haven't tried it yet. It's massively weird and kind of awesome. Also really hard to describe because it's so unique and subjective. I'm not surprised the ancients love to eat and drink and, you know, <laughs> all that fun stuff they did with their bodies. When we talk about them, we're always going on about disease and mortality, but we forget that they also experienced a lot of pleasure. And I think we can actually push our own sensations far beyond what our ancestors experienced. Yeah, because we don't have the capability of getting drunk or... Or is that part of the sensor upgrade? Yeah, what's the secret what's to solving puzzles? What's the secret to solving puzzles? You're the expert, right? Huh. I'd say a combination of spatial awareness and questioning your own assumptions. The easiest way to get stuck is to decide that things have to work in a particular way and miss other possibilities. True. True. It's right. Is Herman really trying to woo Melville? Oh, you better believe he is. <laughs> I think that's the main reason she agreed to come here. To get away? Is it working? I'm not sure. She says she's annoyed, but I don't know. The weird thing is that it's kind of charming. Now that he's dropped the whole founder thing, Herman's not that bad. He even kind of gets along with Byron now. Interesting. 
What are your plans for the future? I really enjoyed all the exploration missions we went on together. So I think I'd like to do more of that. Yay. There's so much to see out there. Maybe we'll even find Lithrasir. Although, I do need some downtime to figure myself out. I was thrust into this enormous adventure literally the day I was born. Sometimes I just want to hang around New Jerusalem, reading books and watching movies. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Have you noticed that Byron and Al are still avoiding each other? I have. I understand that everything that happened caused a bit of a rift between them. But honestly, it's silly. And <laughs> if they don't do something about it soon, I will. Okay, 1K. What are you gonna do? See you around, 1K. I love 1K. All right, Melville, what do you have to say about Hello, Herman? You coot. Think we'll get it right this time? Do you think we'll get it right this time, as a species? Weirdly, I do. I think we've passed some sort of threshold. I don't know what's next, but I think the old loops are broken. Cool. What's your biggest project right now? What's your biggest project right now? Expanding the wormhole network so we can get further out into the galaxy. It'll take an enormous amount of infrastructure to do correctly, which is why we're taking it slow. But if we pull it off, it'll be incredible. Okay. My sunburn is bothering me so much. Like, I'm just, there's just so much skin that's just peeling off. I hate peeling skin. But it can't stay on, it's dead. I hate how the skin kind of sticks to my skin, which is why I like using the tweezers. But then it sticks to the tweezers. I can't get that off either. Ugh. How's Pellegrino? I want to hear about your cat. How's Pellegrino? He's learning, which I didn't think possible. Same finisher, Makes me same. suspicious. <laughs> He's learning? Tell me about this sensor upgrade you're testing. It's a side project I'm working on. Biological humans had all sorts of sensory organs that we lack, and that was a significant part of their culture. Seems a shame to limit ourselves to the handful of inputs the Institute managed to slap together before they went extinct. Got any relationship advice for me? Uh, like, just a be year yourself. Ago? People don't like you because of your skills or your intelligence. They like Maybe you because two years you're ago? a decent person. You're funny and compassionate and a good friend. Besides, you'll never be half as smart as Miranda, so why try? <laughs> That's funny. You'll never be half as smart as Miranda, so why even bother? So, like, was that advice, like, lean into the skills that you have? The existing skills that you have? Is that what you- is that what that means? Um... Let me see... I can tell you when I did it. Um, I have... Have all my vods posted. Why are you being the way that you are right now? Why, why are you causing me problems? There we go. Playlist. Hallow's principle. February 13th, 2023. So I, I have, that was when I posted the VOD. So my guess would be like 
It was about a year between Talos 1 and Talos 2. I played Talos 2 the day it came out. Um, or, like, the following day. It was, like, basically the day it came out. Um, and I played Road to Gehenna shortly after... It was between Talos 1 and 2 that I played Road to Gehenna. Yeah, we were lucky that we didn't have to wait so long. So, what's up with you and Herman? He's malfunctioning, that's what's up. It's very sad. You <laughs> might have to put him down. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's like the most Melville thing she could possibly See say. You, Melville. you coot. There is one thing that scares me sometimes. Not that things could go wrong, but how close this future came to not happening. One K would have been perfectly justified in making a different choice. What if we... What if we didn't earn this? What if we don't deserve it? Everybody deserves a better world, Melville. It's not something you have to earn. Then I suppose we got lucky. And we better appreciate it. Damn straight. Okay, so there was this here. Oh. I don't see a box. I do not see a box. There's nothing else that I can open in the meantime that would give me... Oh! But why were you hiding like that? Bruh. Bruh. Now how that- if I can't turn this off... Okay, so I'm gonna need to grab- I'm gonna need to grab my guy. And I'm gonna need to utilize him. Okay. So 
So in theory, it should be all good. Yeah. Okay. Woo. All right. Is your upgrade enabled? Yep. What does the air smell like? <sighs> it. Oh. Oh. Uh. I smell iodine. Limestone. Is that UV? Can I smell radiation? You can, but you're looking at a painting and telling me what the paint's made of, not what's in the picture. <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels like summer. Like, like the day is still young and there's endless possibilities ahead of us. What we are now is only the beginning and there is so much more to discover and to become and I think those dolphins are mating. <clears throat> Am I supposed to be able to smell that? Right, let's smell something else. Uh, over there. Yes. Uh, you know what, can I pull that over here? So now it has blue, and I can open this, right? Oh wait, no. No, it needs... Well, what the hell do I need green for? Cause that's a... Ooh, oh, 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 I get it. All right. Um, where can we? Okay. So there's the green. So I need. Uh. Take the gravity boy and what the hell? Red. Red. Okay, so then... Ugh. Okay, so you are- you are stuck there. Great. Okay. Great. So... it so that because I only see four of these <sighs> both blue and red huh so the first first things first I need to get red and green so that I can pull blue open that then I can have blue keep itself open no problem and I can also have blue open that great that's great good news then I need blue and green to make red because I can't open this one okay what if what if I did this like maybe it's maybe it's fast you know I 
I don't think it's fast. There's gotta be... if I do like this but pick it up okay so so it it, it does finish it. it doesn't get stuck in there I know no. I mean... The only step that's challenging is to get this open. That's the only thing that's challenging. Because once that's open, then this can keep it open, and then this can just be over here, and I can have blue and green reaching it, and I can cre and then- which creates red. So I can open it! And whatever, and hit whatever this is. You know? Okay, what if... Can I hop into it? That's unfortunate. Um. Oh! Am I dumb? <sighs> yeah, I'm dumb. So that's gonna be this, and I can't grab you? Really? You sure? Okay. Sorry, everybody. I got it. So, Byron, have you talked to Alcatraz yet? Not yet. He was talking to Barzai, and I didn't want to interrupt them. Uh huh. New Atlantis. I'm all in favor for building the underwater city, but would we really have to call it New Atlantis? Isn't that just tempting fate? The universe is a pretty dark sense of humor, you know? We shouldn't provoke it. I don't think it matters what we call it as long as we build it right. The universe doesn't care. We all voted Zimi and New Atlantis won. At least we're not calling it Rapture, like Pellegrino suggested. I don't think he got the point of that last game. Oh, that game. Isn't Pellegrino the cat? Or wait, no. No, Pellegrino is uh, Melville's... Helper? Melville doesn't have a cat. Melville doesn't like cats.
It's a lovely way of putting it, Yakut. You should speak up more often. <laughs> okay. I'm hungry. I think it's time for a snack. A tall one. The perpendicular procedure. Oh. I see. Uh, makes me nauseous just looking at it. I love it. I just, I, I don't love it. I hate it. Uh. Okay, so how do I begin? I don't see anything to work with and... I mean... Oh! Oh, you can just stand on that shit. Oh. Oh, give me a... It's fine. I don't like it. Oh my god. So disorienting. Okay, so that gives you access to the red. Great. Um... Can I- can I go through? I mean, I guess I could just jump off. I mean, that works. Uh... And, now that that's set up, I can take this and... So this needs to be down there. This cannot be here. It. How do I keep this open? issue is I only have one of these to work with. I mean... This could get it to the other side, but that doesn't... There's nothing else up there for me to grab, right? I 
I have no idea. No clue. I was saying to finisher. Finisher's question. This unlocks that. Oh my god, this is... Ah! Huh. Oh, it's Tuesday. Fuck. I have to post my- I have to post on the socials. Someone remind me to do that at the end of stream. Forgot to... See, Instagram doesn't have a scheduling feature, so... I have to just post it on Instagram. Like, remember to post it at 5. Oh, I post, um... Clips. Like, funny clips and stuff from our streams on social media. Twice a week. On Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. And... Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube all have scheduling functions, but Instagram does not. So I have to remember at 5 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursdays to post on the socials. And I don't recall. I don't remember. I never remember. I never remember. So I just need to remember to do it after stream. Why am I getting so many notifications? Stop sending me things. Okay, what if... So that's open here. But I still can't get to the red. Yeah, I know I did most of the work. I just don't... I don't see that how I can... to be further in. I mean...
I don't know how to... I mean, can I... Okay. like it would work. Maybe. Just back it up some more. Okay, so then... Okay. What? What I just did shouldn't have been possible? I didn't know that it was. Going, honey? Five puzzles down? So far, so good. Excellent. Calling you honey sounds weird, doesn't it? I agree. It, it yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> then what? Darling? Sweetheart? Babe? Muffin? Cupcake? I don't even eat food. M maybe just my name? Oh, you're cute. Oh, that's fucking adorable. Jesus. That's so fucking cute. You're cute. Oh, my God. That's so fucking adorable. Celestial Beacon. Ooh, jammers! I haven't seen these in a little while. Ooh, item swappers. Seems that I might need a jammer. You took the connector through a gate it was keeping open? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I re you recommend me looking around a bit more? Like around this puzzle? Or... On this one? On this puzzle you got stuck finishing? Outside this puzzle. There's no shame in using one of these to skip a puzzle. Yes, there no is. Even know. Shut but, up. Except me, and probably Barzai. We're not using it. That wasn't it. Are you saying that that wasn't what you were trying to get me to see? Hmm. 
Oh, Byron's here. Ah. Hey, Yakut. My best friend. How you doing? How you doing, Byron? I'm doing well, thank you. I still have a lot to learn, but at least we're moving forward now. You've helped a lot too, Yakut, even though you never take credit for it. Is there anything that worries you about the future? I think we have to start thinking about changing the way we organize society. It was all pretty simple when we were bound to one city and one planet, but... Mayor isn't really an accurate title for what I do anymore, is it? We'll need better systems. But we'll also have to make sure those systems are democratic, not bureaucratic. Did you solve any puzzles? Did you solve any puzzles? I did. Even Melville did a few. But 1K just rushed through them. Had the time of his life. I guess he just loves puzzles. <laughs> no come... offense, but how come you came to the exhibition? 1K suggested that I needed to stay in touch with what's happening on the ground. What the people I represent are actually doing. To remember that this is about human beings, not spreadsheets. I think that's pretty important. In order to avoid repeating the whole founder situation. Besides, a lot of citizens are getting directly involved with running things, so it's not like I have to be there all the time. And, well... I heard Al was here and... Never mind. Have you been avoiding Have you been avoiding it? Alcatraz? Avoiding? No. Not exactly. I just thought he'd come round, you know? Once he saw that we weren't blowing up the planet? But maybe I waited too long. I don't know. Now it's awkward, and I'm not sure how to fix it. You fix it by talking to you him. You fix it by talking to him. It's not that easy. I appreciate that, but a friendship like yours is not something you throw away. You're right. I know that. What Al and I have is special and rare, and I need to do better. I really do. Do you have any relationship advice for me? Never let anything fester. It's not conflict you have to be worried about, but resentment. Hmm. Any news about that weird anomaly Athena discovered? According to Melville's latest calculations, if we built a Noema machine as big as the moon, we could reach the anomaly in about 42 billion years. So I think it's not a priority right now, <laughs> even though I'd really, really like to know what it is. Wow. Did you know that Herman is trying to woo Melville? Oh, no, I didn't know. Wow. He was my political enemy, but that's a harsh fate. I hope he has plenty of backups. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Uh, does that mean Talos won't have to do with the anomaly? Um, well, I mean, this... Talos 2 took place thousands and thousands of years after Talos 1, so it could be the same. The, the same for Talos 3. It could be super, very much later. When we've. When the world is riddled with robots. What do I need a box for? You know what?
I need to be able to get to the other side. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. the jammers over here at least um why do i need why so i can reach that from here. Why? I don't know. I mean... I suppose I could... Do something like this, and and then. Because <laughs> I thought it was something else. Then this, um, so that I no longer need the jammer here. Then the question is, what is? Ooh. Okay, so then we put the jammer on this side and grab it. And um I'm I'm working on it. I got it. Just took a minute. Take yeah, you that, did. Barzai. I can hear you, you know. Uh, sorry. It, that was a metaphor? <laughs> You're so awkward and cute, you cute. You're so you cute. <laughs> the misalignment syndrome. Mm, there's a lot of goodies in there. Turns on that, which, okay, uh, all right, um, that, this, that, which, okay, and you, okay, and don't know what I need that for. Starting to form in my head, but I still the solution's starting to form in my head, but I don't. Okay, my only guess is that I would need to be the one to stand here. But no, that doesn't make any sense. And I need to stand here to make that go away. 
How am I supposed to make that work? Now it's stuck there. <laughs> Finisher, I don't have the mental capacity to deal with any more philosophical questions today. I'm telling you right now, I did not. Uh, I can't. Okay, what if... Clever little idea that I had. But it's not gonna work. <laughs> I do, but that doesn't mean that, uh... I can only consider so much... I need both of these things in order to get that out, but I can't get these out without doing this and having the box on here, but I need the box because the box is in there. You see my conundrum? It's not gonna work. I don't know. And this whole idea was not a bad idea, but then I don't know how to get it out. Yeah, my knees won't bend. I don't know what this is for. Assume that green thing there. Surely I can't do this whole thing by keeping that in there. There's just no fucking way. Those are too far away to reach. Thank you. 
can't even get the green. <laughs> that is not an easier topic. All right, Glockenspiel. I might need a bit of a hint here just to get me started. I think uh, at this point, we've been going for four hours. I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, even though I had a small snack, I don't think... Um... Pepper! Pepper, you want a snack? <laughs> Pepper, want some strawberries? Come on, Pepper! Pepper! Pepper fish! You hear me talking to you. You're just not getting up to move. Follow up. What pieces do I have around? And a follow up question. Is that really all of them? Do I seriously have more pieces? That I just haven't find? What? The Jess speak? Jess speak. What did I do this time? What did I do this time? Is it really something hidden? Is there like a fan on the ground or something? Perhaps I did not acknowledge that. You're right. I feel dumb. <laughs> not gonna lie. I feel dumb. <laughs> okay. So then, all that's left... Well, there's a couple things. One... that. You have that. Uh, actually, can I have this sit here and do it? No, I cannot. Okay. know what that top one's for. I, I really don't. Um. I'm thinking in my head, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. So that's gonna have to go there. That's gonna have to go there. So that's good. Now... How do I get you... out there? Because I need you out there.
Yeah, you're right. It was a classic Talos one with Snake. Kind of funny. Yeah. See, that's the problem. I need one more thing to weigh this down. Therefore, I need that thing. But I can't get it. What is this for? What could that possibly be for? I think so. I don't even know what happened there myself, to be honest. A glitch, probably. Four. Is this a red herring? Is this important? Can, okay, glockenspiel. Is this important? That top thing, is that important? It's important. Wonderful. Have fun digging a hole. Oh, by dig a hole he meant play deep rock. That's funny. No idea how that's important. I might need a Glockenspiel.
All right, block and spiel. Block and spiel while I go grab a snack. And I'll also grab some water, because I don't have it. trying to offer a strawberry to pet. really not a it's not a good trade for this trade nonetheless all right here we go I was very close to solving this at one point thank you well, I'm really thinking that one of these has got to be on one side and one of them has to be on the other but I don't know why I don't know why. So, so what is the Glockenspiel? What is the Glockenspiel? But you told me that before I said Glockenspiel. Well, you can send lasers through it. You can send things through it. But you yourself can't go through it. I've considered the laser idea. Oh yes, yeah, so I'm still here. There is no reason to send lasers to the other side. I can't see anything through that top hole. 
Maybe there's something outside the puzzle? Over there? Finisher's killing me. Well, there's that hole. I mean... Wait. Uh... An idea. An idea has spawned. Yeah, I can send through the, the, the drill hole, right? But the issue with that is I can't get a good angle. Like, I could send it from here. Oh, well. Hold on. I guess it doesn't have to be on that now, does it? That makes sense. How does this coconut taste to you? It's kind of wooden. <laughs> Very crunchy. Hmm. Did humans just have weird taste, or is this some function of subjectivity? Without more precise data about the human brain, how do we even know this is what they experienced when they tasted a coconut? Bloody qualia. I think you're supposed to have the inside. <laughs> no, but I like the crunchy bit. <laughs> Does it matter what it tasted like to them? We want to expand the horizons of human experience, not recreate them. Hmm. The girl has a point. One K, let's try eating sand. Yuck. Oh my god. That's amazing. I love them so much. I would die for them. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. I did not expect her to say that. And as soon as he said it was wooden, I was like, bro's eating the outside of the coconut right now. We're like, seriously? You're right, other guy. I love them so much. Okay, what is this called again? I got so distracted two times. The Riddle of the Citadel? Or Citadel? Depends on how fancy you want to be. All right, where's this go? Oh, hello. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh, 
Alright. So my question was, can I... Okay, it just falls right through the column. Very good. Alright. Uh... Why do I want this to be all the way down? Why do I want that elevator to come down? So I can put something on it? I would assume. Koala just opened the Tower's Principle 2? Does that mean he's playing the DLC tonight? <coughs> Is he playing right now? Yes! That's perfect. Because I was going to have this be the last puzzle, because this is puzzle number 8. But I'll go grab that, uh... That what's it called? Um... The sprite. And then we can raid him. And you guys can help him. And I'll be happy to be there too. But. Gotta figure this shit out first. Well. There's one thing we could do. And that. Oh wait, no. That's actually not what I wanted. Um, it's this. And this. that box for something and this opens that <coughs> well
Okay. So then... Let's try... That. Okay. Not working as intended. I haven't finished the DLC, but at this point I'm far enough in, but I don't really don't care about spoilers. Oh. Got you. Hmm. Okay, so I need the box. Hey, Mel. I know that uh, Koala just started streaming. We'll raid him in a bit. <laughs> oh, you're right. It was still salvageable. I'm just a goober. It's all right. Oops. So... So how do I get red over here? So I could make blue pretty easily, but not red. Dude, I'm gonna eat this entire bag of chips. I'm gonna need to slow down. I do want to catch like the earlier parts of Koala's stream because I want to I want to catch him in the I'm utter confusion mode. You know what I mean? But I'm struggling here. Oh, that's a good idea. But okay, yeah. All right, that's that can work. Normally I wouldn't allow such a such a hint without me asking. But I'm in a rush. Now back to what I was trying to figure out earlier. Nah. You... I know, I know, but I wanna be there. I wanna be there, Mallory! Gotta go fast. I gotta go fast. Alright, so now what needs to happen? is this needs to sit on top of here and it needs to be on there and it needs to have blue but i don't know
Now the question is... How... Can I take blue from this? Like... How am I able to grab blue? I mean... I can maybe make it work. Now that we have the box... It, it might it might be helpful. Um, so let's just have attach that here. Put it on top. That's not what I wanted. But that's okay. This is going to be silly. I have to go up there and fix that connection, but otherwise I got it. There we go. There. Oh, it's just is this your first time seeing it too? In that case, it's le it's a, it's it's less bad. Byron, if you want to talk to Alcatraz. He's free right now. Sure, um, I'll see if I can find him. You know, it's funny. Alcatraz said the same thing the other day. It's almost like you two are avoiding each other. All right, how do I get up there? A perplexing fruit. Trevor's words, a fruit invented by the devil and released in pre-alpha. Huh. Alright, well, you know what? This is where we'll pick up next time. I'm going to save looking at this so I don't forget where it's at. Oh, wait, no, I can't. <laughs> That'd be funny. I just know that I'm probably gonna have to solve more puzzles to get those, so it's not all that helpful. I just... Here's what I need you guys to do. I need you to remind me that that is there next time we stream this, and I'll go grab it. Okay? That's 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 what I need. Now, I'm going to send you guys all over to Koala, because he is also playing Talos Principle 2 DLC. He just started. Oh wait, he's up time 40 minutes? I thought he just started. Why did I only- Oh wait. Maybe he's been up for 40 minutes just doing something not Talos, because I got the notification that he had just opened the game. Anyway. Oh, yeah, he's on the first puzzle. He just figured it out, and he, got, he just had his aha moment. Okay, perfect! Okay, we're sending you all over to Koala! Please go give him a follow, he's a great creator, um, artist, and uh, very talented, and his visuals are very impressive. Uh, to be honest, he's a better streamer than me, but I'll keep quiet about that. And uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow for tomorrow's stream. Bye.